everyone, it's Giselle here again with another message today and this is just to remind everyone that even if you're feeling down and you feel like you may be losing the battle, know that in the end you will win the war. Fighting for love is not easy and there are many obstacles and setbacks in the way and... I've been getting a lot of um, messages from people, um, from clients, but also from people watching the videos um, who just observe and, and don't actively get readings, but um, they do often leave me comments or just email me um, and just say that things have been so, so tough and that they're just really missing their beloveds and that as time goes on, it feels harder and harder to keep hanging on in there. But the universe is encouraging us to keep fighting the fight, to keep believing in what is right and to know that we are here to bring love, to plant all of the seeds and to grow all of the trees that will eventually spread love around the world. And the more that we can do that now, the easier it will become because basically as we are planting the seeds and the trees start to grow, it's going to be so magical the day that all of the trees have grown and all of the people get activated and so everyone elevates in this feeling of love that we have spread. And taking on this task of fighting for love is not easy, but it's something that we've chosen to do. And we would not have chosen to do it had we not had the strength, you know, if we thought we were too weak or just did not have the qualities required to make this happen we would not have enrolled. We were fully aware before we came down to earth what our mission was and we fully agreed to it. So now we must stand strong and tall and remember what our mission is to love ourselves, to love each other, to love unconditionally and to bring that down to earth so that everyone will be able to live in love and our mission will succeed. Please don't give up. I know that it's easier said than done because I've been through some tough, tough times. Um, not just in the past, also very recently. I was so discouraged when I started hearing things um, to do with my personal life that, you know, I don't really want to get into it and I don't want to bring people down and make them feel sorry, but just things like... I've had this thing with my health for a little while and then had to have it, you know, pushed back. And then I was hoping to have received my all clear ages ago and it just dragged on and it made me so discouraged. And then it fell along with my exams taking place and everything just started to build up. And you just have to believe that things are being pushed back for a reason and that you pick up little gems of knowledge and um, strength along the way, things that attribute to you being the beautiful person that you are and you will eventually benefit. You know, there's a lot of situations I've been through in my life where I've just gone, why in the world do I need to go through this? But then later down the line, even decades down the line, you you discover, actually, I see the value of that experience, even though it was the most harrowing and the most traumatizing thing that's ever happened back then. Now you can use it to your full advantage. And I feel that even though what I've initially experienced with my um, situation recently felt like a massive setback, I feel it's to open up my heart and to empathize even more with people who would be going through the same thing, who would come to me for help. Had I not experienced these things, then I maybe not have been as compassionate. So 
everything happens for a reason, but we must believe that we are here to fight for love and that love will always win, that our hearts are all connected and we can all build this beautiful web of love around the world and make this a better world for everyone to live in and for our children and our children's children. So I hope that you remain strong and that this message does encourage you and do not give up, please. We all need you. This is a message from the universe. We need you all to stay and fight for love. Thank you all for listening and um, my details are in the description if you are interested. Um, Yeah, thank you. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.